Do you suffer from chronic depression, anxiety, or PTSD? Would you like to feel much better within three weeks from now and within a few months be completely depression and anxiety free? If you watch this video until the end I would say that you have an above 50 to 50 chance of learning how to cure your depression and anxiety for good. So, you've just found the easiest and most reliable way to effective chronic depression recovery. My name is Ben McCarthy and I'm an ex-chronic depression sufferer from Ireland. I suffered from severe, chronic depression and anxiety from the age of 20 until the age of 42. I have literally spent two decades and hundreds of thousands of euros searching for answers for depression ever since I found myself in a psychiatric hospital in 1999. I've tried everything and discarded what didn't work and kept what did. And it's presented here for you now. In this guide I'm going to outline for you a very powerful treatment and in many cases a cure for depression. I call it the Personal Liberation Protocol, which is a reliable natural cure for depression and anxiety that I have developed. It's a simple but powerful and highly effective treatment even if we are talking about chronic depression which has lasted for years or even decades. It consists of an advanced very specific form of cranial electrotherapy combined with a few powerful natural supplements and some changes to your mindset and lifestyle. I'll be giving you the full breakdown including the one device that costs $95 that nobody knows about that will get you feeling better and within just a few days of using it. All of the supplements you need and how to save big on buying them. The mindset changes you need to make and the main lifestyle changes you need to make. The links to all of the resources mentioned in this video, including where to get the devices and supplements at the lowest price, are available in my up-to-date guide on my website, Google search Personal Liberation Protocol, or go to liberationprotocol.com, which is linked below this video. The guide is free for the moment, August 2019, and with the guide comes support from me and my team of experts. But first of all I want to say to you that if you suffer from depression or anxiety it's not your fault. Life in this world is a lottery. We can be lucky and lead a relatively trouble-free life or we can be unlucky and end up with trauma from our childhood, combined with other difficult things that can happen to us as children and adults. Too much stress can build up and we can fall into a state of despair and chronic emotional pain. Before you know it the runaway stress response which is depression has changed our physiology and caught us in a cycle of bouts of overwhelm and into more repeating bouts which is the illness that we call chronic depression and which is very very hard to escape from if you don't know how. I'm not going to disrespect you nor minimize your problem by stating that my program is a cure-all. It's not. It will work for some people but not for others for a few possible reasons the main reason being that if you're depressed it's hard to motivate yourself to take action. The second reason being that depression may cause you to be chronically negative and so you may be unable to believe that you can get better and then you don't take the actions which would lead you to get better. I must say here also that you may also be using your illness to get something out of life that you may find impossible to get out of life if you were to be better. For example attention or love from others or someone taking care of you who otherwise may not have so close a relationship with you or a social security payment that you need to live on. This is called secondary gain and is a well-known phenomenon in psychology. Ask yourself if this is the case and if it is then ask yourself if it's worth it. Be honest with yourself. I guarantee that it isn't worth it. The benefits of being well far outstrip the benefits of being unwell. Many benefits that you think you may get from being unwell will come in much more abundance when you are well. Trust me I know this is true from my own experience. 
In my case some emotional trauma from when I was young carried into my young adult life mixed with the loss of a girlfriend combined with alcohol and drug addiction and voila I was in a pit of depression. For me as it was as simple as that. Your story may be different from mine or similar. If you're reading this then you're probably looking for answers and that's great because I am going to give you everything you need to know to get better for free. You just need to have an open mind. Depression is serious business you can't talk yourself out of it and you can't just go to the gym to get rid of it and you also can't treat it without help. One of the main reasons that this is true is that depression convinces you I e makes you believe that it's your never going escape it. This prevents you from feeling good enough to believe that you can get better and thus the vicious cycle repeats itself. The only person who can help you cure depression permanently is someone who actually had it and who managed to overcome it. The steps in this free video guide will work whether you are on medication or not. I am not a doctor and do not advise on medical matters. This guide is not to be construed as medical advice. Please be responsible and consult with your doctor if you want to change anything related to your medical treatment. Speaking of medication I have yet to meet anyone who managed to medicate themselves out of chronic depression. Medication can certainly help you to cope and that is a good thing but it has proven to not be a sole long-term solution. The real solution in my view is electrotherapy combined with real nutritional medicine combined with some mindset changes and lifestyle change. I just wanted to say something about the book The Depression Cure, the six-step program to beat depression without drugs by Dr. Stephen Ilardi. A summary of the program that the book proposes is as follows. Brain food, use omega-3s and vitamin D supplements. Don't think do, anti-ruminative activity, like occupational therapy. Anti-depressant exercise, walking with a friend. Let there be light, using a light box. Get connected, socializing and minimizing isolation. Habits of healthy sleep, less caffeine and quit using devices well before bedtime. Let me just say that if you have the type of depression and anxiety that I had and that you probably have also then this program is not going to work. At least in my opinion it will certainly not cure your depression. It may help it a little but it certainly won't cure it. If it does cure your depression then you are certainly on the mild to moderate side of the depression spectrum. My program has a very high chance of improving your life significantly or even transforming your life but it may or may not work as well for you as it has for me. I cannot say for sure whether it will or not. It most definitely won't though if you don't watch this video until the end. But it is much more powerful and has a much higher chance of success when used diligently than the one that Dr. Ilardi proposes in his book. That's because I have spent literally two decades and hundreds of thousands of euros searching for answers ever since I found myself in a psychiatric hospital in 1999. I've tried everything and discarded what didn't work and have kept what did. And it's here for you now. If you find that you cannot implement my program fully or that the thought of implementing it in your life sounds overwhelming then just focus on core protocol parts 1 and 3 until you start to feel better and you have more energy and motivation then move on to the other parts. Conventional approaches are no good against severe chronic long-standing depression. We need to be smarter more creative and more ambitious in our approach. We need firstly to reduce the runaway stress response and get the biochemical imbalance and horrific emotional symptoms that are caused by this problem under control. Then when you start to feel better more self-belief and confidence starts to come and progress on more fronts is both possible and desirable. 
We do this in the main by using the depression and anxiety protocol of a TDCS device, transcranial direct current stimulation, called the Bumblebee Pro and by starting to supplement with YTE, young tissue extract, youth tissue extract, ashwagandha, curcumin, omega-3s and quality probiotics. We suggest in addition to get sober if you are using alcohol, marijuana or any other recreational drugs and to eliminate dietary and environmental toxins to also improve your diet and use exercise and meditation and also by encouraging you to find emotional support from peers as needed. The recommendations in my short guide can and will help you to recover fully. In this guide we reveal the one completely unknown but highly effective therapeutic $95 device that is the most potent and healthy and easiest natural cure for depression and anxiety which will help you to feel normal again that Big Pharma does not want you to know about. We also we reveal the natural nutritional products which are the most effective supplements for anxiety and depression and where to get them at the best price. We also highlight the few most effective complementary methods, mindsets and techniques that will help you on your way to full recovery. You'll have access to the secrets to chronic depression recovery and healing that even the most modern most advanced medical science cannot offer. Are you like me and would do anything to feel better or do you feel okay from time to time but are afraid of sliding into a hole again and want to protect yourself against more recurring bouts of depression? The Personal Liberation Protocol is an original work. It was born out of a personal quest by an engineer and a scientist. It's short and concise and is nothing like you've ever seen before. I guarantee you that. We are now an organization whose mission is to help a million people to recover from depression and anxiety. Not medical advice. While this guide is not medical advice and does not replace the guidance of your doctor none of the supplements I recommend are contraindicated with antidepressants. They are all natural herbal amino acid and vitamin supplements that you can take safely with your medication. So here is the guide. The Personal Liberation Protocol. Disclaimer. By watching this guide you consent to take responsibility for your own health and well-being and agree and recognize that the contents herein are merely the opinion of the author and do not constitute medical advice. Always consult your doctor or physician before beginning anything suggested in this guide or any new treatment regimen. Preface Links to all resources in this guide including recommended devices books and quoted references are on the up-to-date version of the guide at liberationprotocol.com. The link is in the video description below. The guide on my website is free right now as of August 2019 but will be a low-cost paid guide soon. Paying for the guide you get all of the up-to-date resources plus personal support from me and my team of experts. The fee you pay for the guide also helps us to reach more people in need through advertising. This guide is prescriptive but is very successful at helping those who apply it to overcome depression and or anxiety. Commit to it, it works. Note, if you are suffering so bad that anything beyond core protocol part 1 of this guide seems beyond your capabilities right now then just use core protocol part 1 until you feel well enough to continue with the remainder of the protocol. Be kind to yourself in this regard but also take responsibility for your own growth and well-being by continuing with the suggestions in this guide when you are able to. Chronic illnesses have multi-causal factors at play so multifaceted solutions are necessary for the successful remission. For comments, support etc. Please email us at support at liberationprococol.com Introduction It's very hard if not impossible to medicate yourself out of chronic depression and or anxiety. This guide was written for all those who have not yet found a way out. With this guide I think that you will. Even if you are skeptical and still can't yet see a way out that's okay too. 
Just use the steps and resources below and things will start to get better slowly but steadily. Don't force yourself to believe if you're not that way inclined. If you are currently in crisis then reach out to a mental health professional as soon as possible then when you feel a little better begin below if you feel inclined. If you aren't and want to recover for good I suggest that you follow the steps below as diligently as you can. The first steps. What am I suffering from? How do I begin? If you suffer from chronic depression I. E. The illness has been going on for a few years or more then your depression may be symptom of CPTSD, complex post-traumatic stress disorder. If one or both of your parents were abusive or narcissistic then you most likely are suffering from CPTSD is that is what happens to some children of abusive narcissists. Grieving for your abandonment as a child and learning to talk to yourself using more compassionate kind loving nurturing language is a key component of recovery. The suggestion of power up your self-talk in part 2 of the core protocol is key as is understanding of the condition. You could also empower yourself by reading Complex PTSD, From Surviving to Thriving, a guide and map for recovering from childhood trauma by Pete Walker or check out Richard Grannon's part and life coach on YouTube. You need to first begin with an attitude of acceptance of your illness, and also therefore of surrender to it I. E. Non-resistance. I have found this very helpful in my recovery. For all the 22 years that I didn't accept my illness I used to fall in and out of severe bouts of depression and take two to four weeks to recover from each. During the years I didn't want to accept that I had the illness I deluded myself by believing that my last bout of depression would be my last and therefore lived my life as if I was immune to depression thus guaranteeing that I would fall into another bout for example I would stress myself out. With work and pleasing people I would drink alcohol, take class of drugs and smoke cannabis. That made me fall into the deepest hole of my life that led to hospitalization and near death. That's what lying to yourself can lead to. Core Protocol 1. Electrotherapy, cranioelectrotherapy stimulation, say, using TDCS and the most useful nutrients. Get a Bumblebee Pro TDCS device for $95 including free worldwide shipping. TDCS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulator. TDCS works very well for bipolar depression as well as regular depression. It seems to rebalance the brain and level out neurotransmitter levels, endorphin, serotonin, dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, using a tiny pulsing electrical current. Use it every day on a low to moderate intensity setting on alpha and theta wave setting with the depression montage electrode placement. Reference 1. Within 4 to 7 days you'll be feeling better. It took just 3 days for the effects to begin to kick in for me. It may take longer for you. I slowly improved over the course of using it for a month. There is a protocol in the instruction booklet that comes with the device specifically for depression and anxiety. I cannot understand how more people don't know about this technology as it is a very, very effective treatment for depression which lasts long term. If you are suffering from bipolar please make sure that you use the device in the low intensity setting for the first two weeks and for just 20 minutes a day otherwise there is a risk of a hypomanic episode being triggered. Read accounts of using TDCS for depression here and here also. Testimonial 1 of using TDCS from Reddit. The montage was the typical F3 plus FP2 to 20 minutes 5 days on to off for 1 month. At first each treatment really lifted my mood immediately. Over the following weeks this immediate effect decreased as is predicted. People without depression don't benefit from the depression montage.
Basically I see it as my baseline state was being improved and over the month I was feeling better and better. My wife who was very skeptical could see the difference in me both in the near term immediately after the initial treatments and in the overall constant improvement. Testimonial 2 of using TDCS from Reddit As far as how effective it was for me I had a few depression-free hours the first time I tried it like a cloud lifting for a few hours and then slowing descending again. This period of time got longer and longer each session and after a month of application I was able to titrate off my medications and I haven't been using pharmaceuticals since then. Some users notice a dramatic change as I did the first time they try it others only notice benefits over time while there are some that don't see benefits. I think it depends on the root cause of depression for each patient for instance there aren't a lot of studies showing a consistent results for BP2 patients and some studies seem to imply it can trigger hypomania. Nutrients, supplements and vitamins for depression. The list of nutrients below are safe to use with and are not contraindicated with psychiatric medication and are very effective at lowering depression and anxiety, restoring chemical balance within the body and improving overall health. You will also find that you are much stronger and more immune to common colds and flu as well as most other illnesses when you stay on this protocol. Use every day. Young tissue extract, laminin, fibroblast growth factor, activates a powerful relaxation and healing response in the body balances neurotransmitters improves mood and physical health. Use 4 daily for the first week then 2 daily. Takes 1 to 3 weeks to work. Reference 2. Liquid turmeric extract, curcumin, powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and mood elevator heals brain inflammation and increases serotonin. Has been proven in studies to be as effective as Prozac for depression 2 daily. Takes 4 weeks to work. Reference 3. Ashwagandha herbal supplement promotes a healthy stress response lowers stress hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, promotes healthy sleep brain health and is a cognitive enhancer too daily, takes two weeks to work. Reference 4. Wide spectrum probiotics creates a healthy digestive tract biome gut flora where serotonin and most neurotransmitters are made improves mood and digestive health users directed takes a few weeks to work. Reference 5. Omega-3 fatty acids 1 to 2 grams per day takes 2 to 8 weeks to work. Omega-3 oils are useful in nourishing the brain and nervous system. Reference 6. Additional dietary advice. Eliminate canola oil, rapeseed oil, from your diet. It's highly toxic and can be found in many products including most chips mayonnaises and spreads these days. Instead use sunflower or olive oil, or coconut oil. Eliminate or reduce pasteurized dairy from your diet. It's toxic also. Reduce or eliminate refined sugar, non-organic wheat contains herbicide, pesticide and chemical fertilizers. Eliminate or reduce caffeine especially coffee as it is toxic to those who suffer from depression as it is very laden with chemicals and also the caffeine is terrible for anxiety as it increases nervousness by increasing stress hormones. Also eliminate processed and junk food from your diet as they are terrible for your health and for your mood. Use organic produce in your diet as much as your budget allows. Core Protocol to Cognitive Hygiene Exercise and Diet A Book Recommendation, Power Up Your Self-Talk by Michel Stowitzki Reference 7 Learn to talk to yourself and to the world using much more loving, supportive, nurturing and less critical voice. Note, if you just use part 1 of the protocol and learn to practice this well you will probably fully recover. A daily gratitude log really helps with this practice. This is also a core part of CPTSD recovery, healing the inner critic and reparenting the inner child. 
Take this excellent account from Reddit. Self-talk. I was intensely harshly critical of myself. One day I realized that I would never talk to another person like that so why should I talk to myself that way? I made the decision to treat myself as though I was a friend who had the same issues. I would treat myself kindly with compassion and allow myself to be imperfect, even very imperfect. This is very important. I decided to make a point of noticing what I did right well and good in the same way I'd focused exclusively on what I did wrong before. It's important especially for someone in or coming out of depression to see and admit to themselves that yes, they do things right too. It doesn't matter how tiny or inconsequential the action is. Did you brush your teeth today? Nice you brushed your teeth today. Fair warning, this change in behavior will likely feel fake as hell at first and will continue feeling fake as hell for a long time. It's normal for a behavior pattern you aren't in the habit of to feel fake but that doesn't mean it is fake, it's just an unfamiliar pattern. As the pattern becomes familiar the feeling of fakeness will fade. The other thing was that I realized when you are depressed you naturally tend to focus on what's bad and wrong in life. You don't even notice the good stuff even though it's still there. If you go long enough noticing only bad things while being oblivious to the good it can legitimately get to a point where it really genuinely feels to you like only bad things exist for you and that good stuff doesn't even exist at all. Therefore why I made a deliberate point of noticing what's right and good in life. There's a roof over my head tonight and I have a warm, dry, comfortable bed to sleep in, I have my health, I can have pretty much anything I want for dinner, I am incredibly lucky to live in that incredibly tiny fraction of all of human history that the internet exists, it's a lovely day out today, I lost a couple more pounds, I really do have exceptionally awesome landlords, I was really kind to that person, I got the dishes done today etc. Fair warning, this is another thing that's going to feel fake as hell for a long time until you get into the habit of it. Expected it's normal and fine. I pushed through the fake feeling and it made a life-changing difference for me that I did. One more thing, let it be genuinely okay for yourself to make mistakes. Old habits and thought patterns can have a lot of inertia to them. Depressed people are still people and people are just human beings which means they will make mistakes. If you can let it be genuinely okay to be a human being who makes mistakes just like anyone else does, don't beat up on yourself for making them. Just shrug let it roll off your back and carry on, you'll have a much easier time of all of this on those days you find old habits creeping back again. Also after you've gotten a bit out of depression check out this excellent post about non-zero days. If you are deep in depression right now this might be too much just yet, and it's honestly okay if it is. One step at a time. Just focus on noticing the things you do right for now on the positives around you. HTTPS colon slash slash www reddit com r get disciplined comments 1 q 96 b 5 i underscore just underscore don't underscore care underscore about underscore myself c d a h 4 a f book recommendation the wild diet go beyond paleo to burn fat beat cravings and drop 20 pounds in 40 days by abel james get the right type of nutrition that you need to feel well by eating a good diet Reference 8. Book Recommendation, The One Minute Workout by by Martin Gibala and Christopher Shulgin 9. Lift your mood and confidence, energy levels and physical health by getting the right type of vigorous exercise in only minutes per week with the methods detailed in this book. Reference 9. Exercise is not just about aerobic capacity and muscle size. Sure exercise can improve your physical health and your physique trim your waistline improve your sex life and even add years to your life. 
But that's not what motivates most people to stay active. People who exercise regularly tend to do so because it gives them an enormous sense of well-being. They feel more energetic throughout the day, sleep better at night, have sharper memories and feel more relaxed and positive about themselves and their lives. And it's also powerful medicine for many common mental health challenges. Regular exercise can have a profoundly positive impact on depression, anxiety, ADHD, and more. It also relieves stress, improves memory, helps you sleep better and boosts your overall mood. And you don't have to be a fitness fanatic to reap the benefits. Research indicates that modest amounts of exercise can make a difference. No matter your age or fitness level you can learn to use exercise as a powerful tool to feel better. Exercise and depression. Studies show that exercise can treat mild to moderate depression as effectively as antidepressant medication, but without the side effects of course. As one example a recent study done by the Harvard T. H. Chan School of Public Health found that running for 15 minutes a day or walking for an hour reduces the risk of major depression by 26%. In addition to relieving depression symptoms research also shows that maintaining an exercise schedule can prevent you from relapsing. Exercise is a powerful depression fighter for several reasons. Most importantly it promotes all kinds of changes in the brain including neural growth, reduced inflammation and new activity patterns that promote feelings of calm and well-being. It also releases endorphins, powerful chemicals in your brain that energize your spirits and make you feel good. Finally exercise can also serve as a distraction allowing you to find some quiet time to break out of the cycle of negative thoughts that feed depression. Exercise and Anxiety Exercise is a natural and effective anti-anxiety treatment. It relieves tension and stress, boosts physical and mental energy, and enhances well-being through the release of endorphins. Anything that gets you moving can help but you'll get a bigger benefit if you pay attention instead of zoning out. Try to notice the sensation of your feet hitting the ground for example or the rhythm of your breathing or the feeling of the wind on your skin. By adding this mindfulness element, really focusing on your body and how it feels as you exercise, you'll not only improve your physical condition faster but you may also be able to interrupt the flow of constant worries running through your head. Exercise and Stress Ever noticed how your body feels when you're under stress? Your muscles may be tense especially in your face, neck and shoulders leaving you with back or neck pain or painful headaches. You may feel a tightness in your chest, a pounding pulse or muscle cramps. You may also experience problems such as insomnia, heartburn, stomach ache, diarrhea or frequent urination. The worry and discomfort of all these physical symptoms can in turn lead to even more stress creating a vicious cycle between your mind and body. Exercising is an effective way to break this cycle. As well as releasing endorphins in the brain physical activity helps to relax the muscles and relieve tension in the body. Since the body and mind are so closely linked when your body feels better so too will your mind. Exercise and ADHD Exercising regularly is one of the easiest and most effective ways to reduce the symptoms of ADHD and improve concentration, motivation, memory and mood. Physical activity immediately boosts the brain's dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin levels, all of which affect focus and attention. In this way exercise works in much the same way as ADHD medications such as Ritalin and Adderall. Exercise and PTSD and Trauma Evidence suggests that by really focusing on your body and how it feels as you exercise you can actually help your nervous system become unstuck and begin to move out of the immobilization stress response that characterizes PTSD or trauma. Instead of allowing your mind to wander pay close attention to the physical sensations in your joints and muscles even your insides as your body moves. 
Exercises that involve cross movement and that engage both arms and legs, such as walking, especially in sand, running, swimming, weight training, or dancing, are some of your best choices. Outdoor activities like hiking, sailing, mountain biking, rock climbing, whitewater rafting, and skiing, downhill and cross country, have also been shown to reduce the symptoms of PTSD. Core Protocol 3 Sobriety if you have chronic depression and or anxiety I really believe that it's impossible to recover if you are even a moderate occasional drinker or recreational drug user. Recent research is proving this out. I couldn't at least recover while still drinking and using drugs. I quit using the resources above. Reference then. From AmericanAddictionCenters.org some people drink alcohol in an attempt to cope with the depression. People can be drawn to the sedative effects of alcohol as a kind of medication helping to distract from persistent feelings of sadness. While alcohol may temporarily relieve some of the symptoms of depression it ultimately serves to worsen depression on a long-term basis. Alcohol abuse brings with it a bevy of negative effects on virtually every aspect of life. As a person begins to experience financial and career consequences as a result of alcohol abuse and their relationships begin to suffer the depression worsens. This often leads to a damaging cycle of abusing alcohol in an effort to self-medicate symptoms of depression and the depression worsening due to the continued alcohol abuse. Once a person regularly abuses alcohol physical dependence and addiction can quickly follow. According to the WebMD, about a third of those who suffer from major depression have a co-occurring AUD. It's understandable that those who suffer from depression may seek out the temporary relief that alcohol can provide, however again alcohol abuse simply compounds the depression. Some people have overlapping genetic predispositions that make them more vulnerable to both alcohol issues and depression and the onset of one condition can trigger the onset of the other. Hangovers are often accompanied by feelings of depression and continued alcohol abuse can lead to longer periods of depression. Those who have been diagnosed with depression and take antidepressants to manage the condition can experience additional ill effects due to alcohol abuse. Alcohol makes antidepressants less effective and the depressant effects of the alcohol will further worsen the now unmanaged or less managed depression. Alcohol abuse leading to depression while depression can put a person at greater risk to develop an alcohol problem, the inverse is even more common. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism NIAA, depression can arise and increase during a battle with alcoholism. This increase in depression can then lead to more drinking thus perpetuating this cycle from the other angle. If a person experiences feelings of depression as a result of alcohol abuse it's likely that these symptoms will dissipate at least somewhat after alcohol consumption has stopped. Since alcohol withdrawal can involve potentially life-threatening withdrawal symptoms after physical dependence has formed it's imperative that individuals don't attempt to stop drinking suddenly on their own. Medical supervision is required. According to a study published in Addiction Individuals Dealing with Alcohol Use Disorder or Depression are at double the risk of developing the other condition. This was not simply a correlation as the study concluded that alcohol use disorders and depression have a causal relationship. The study found that alcohol abuse is more likely to cause major depression than the other way around though the causality could go in either direction. There were links found between the neurophysiological and metabolic changes brought about by alcohol abuse and the mechanisms for depression to occur. The study concluded that abuse of alcohol puts an individual at a significantly greater risk to develop depression than that of a person who is not abusing the substance. The study concluded that abuse of alcohol puts an individual at a significantly greater risk to develop depression than that of a person who is not abusing the substance.
Therefore it is clear that alcohol abuse can induce depression and depression can also induce alcohol abuse. This relationship can be cyclical as well and an individual can get caught going back and forth between abusing alcohol and then using alcohol to try to quell the resulting depression. It can be an extremely challenging set of co-occurring disorders to address and professional help is needed. I'm also talking here about benzodiazepines and sleeping pills such as Ambien, Stilnacht, Zimavane, Xanax, Librium and Valium. But never ever quit these without medical supervision. If you're a heavy drinker or drug user seek professional help. Use the resources linked below to both inform yourself how to quit without cravings and to remove the desire and craving for drinking and drugs and also use core protocol part 1 during the process of getting alcohol and addiction free it will greatly help in the process. This Naked Mind book by Annie Grace, Control Alcohol Find Freedom. Annie Grace's 30-Day Alcohol Experiment, Free. This Naked Mind Podcast by Annie Grace, Free. The Truth About Alcohol Podcast, Free, and Strive Forum by Lee Davy. Ancillary Protocol 1. Meditation and Lifestyle. Do 20 minutes of meditation once or twice a day. Reference 11. If you don't know how to meditate or prefer audio guided meditation use the free smartphone app called Insight Timer Android iPhone or Beyond Meditation iPhone to guide you into meditation. Alternatively if you prefer silent meditation you could alternatively use the guide here to learn how to practice transcendental meditation. If you prefer yoga then do that. If you don't know how then use YouTube to guide you or go to a class in your area. Further advice. Reduce time spent alone as loneliness is literally a killer. Learn to give love and receive love. Reference 12. Get out in nature. Walk run sweat lie in the grass in the summer swim in the rivers and lakes. I cannot stress how important this is. Reference 13. Reduce or eliminate screen time, smartphones, computers, gaming, as it is a major nervous stressor. Reference 14. I cannot stress how important this is. If you're unemployed or have a poor routine, then get a job or volunteer. Reference 15. Something immersive like waiting on tables, although challenging in many ways, is very therapeutic as it takes the focus off your own thoughts and issues. If that seems like too much at the start then volunteer to do something charitable. The core protocol alone may will not work fully if you're sitting alone in your house all day doing nothing. It will help you get off the couch but then you have to take the reins. I also cannot stress how important this is. If you are mired in blaming others for your illness in resentments or in the victim mentality then you need to forgive and let go of that. That's empowerment. I cannot stress how important this is. Reference 16. Get someone who you can trust to talk to and to reveal your feelings and concerns to. There are a huge number of caring empathic altruistic people in the world who love helping others. This is essential. Reference 17. If you smoke reduce or quit smoking as it increases stress hormones and worsens depression. Reference 18. Reducing these stress hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, cholesterol, and free radicals carbon monoxide alone reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety. If you can't quit smoking then switch to vaping. Work outside with the dirt and soil. The volunteer at a horticulture center if you can. Get dirt on your hands. Spend as much time in nature as you possibly can. Go surfing if you can. That's it. 
As I said before, the links to all of the resources mentioned in this video, including where to get the devices and supplements at the lowest price, are available in my up-to-date guide on my website, Google Search Personal Liberation Protocol, or go to Liberation Protocol com, which is linked below this video. The guide is free for the moment, August 2019, and with the guide comes support from me and my team of experts.